I grew up in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Faith was a central tethering point, I think. And it wasn't really until I got to college that I started to think about the act or task or art of poetry. I was in a sort of survey literature course and I read a poet named Allen Ginsberg and I thought, whoa, it was a very kind of, I think, classic reaction to coming into contact with poetry. I thought, oh, poetry can do this. I think that one of the reasons that I was attracted to coming to Duke Divinity was because it seemed to pair a culture of high academic rigor with its status as a functioning seminary. What surprised me as I've, I've been here for a year now is the way in which the lines between poetry and theology have blurred without sort of either losing their definition. It is not a place where your intellectual or theological assumptions are going to go untested or unquestioned, and that is a very good thing. The theology that you're learning in the classroom is inseparable from the life that you lead outside of the classroom, and that life is in turn inseparable from life lived in community. It's very difficult to go to Duke Divinity and not become a part of the community because they just won't let you, and that's a good thing too. I think that the, the my first year here has been and continues to kind of be a process of, of stripping away. And I think one of the things that excites me about kind of looking ahead to my future, specifically here at, at Duke Divinity, is seeing what I kind of a person I will be at the end, having had the layers that need to be stripped, stripped, and the things that needed to be added, added.